This video is an extension of the live streaming app. It's a very specific problem which is related to sports and other real-time events where you have to serve contextual ads. If you watched a football match or a cricket match, you're likely to have seen certain parts of the video being rendered according to which user is watching it, sometimes at what time also. So if I am a young father, I'm likely to see diaper ads. And if I would be older, then maybe I could see ads on health insurance or a good medical deal. Now, what allows a company to serve ads through video in real time to millions of users? And the basic idea is quite simple. One is you need to segment your users according to what kind of ad will be best served to them. So this could be done using a rule engine. It could be done using AI. This part of the recommendation system, we are going to treat as a black box and look into detail in some other uh, lesson. But for now, you can just assume that if you send a request to a recommendation system based on parameters of profile, parameters of activity, you're going to get back a response. The response is going to say, where should this user be grouped to? So this user belongs to group young parent or this user belongs to a group looking for medical insurance. Based on that, you can rank the ads for a user and take the top ad to display to the user. This is standard recommendation engine requirements. The thing that we are interested in is how is video going to be rendered in real time? So for that, there are multiple options. One is to render on the client device using the client's GPU. There is, uh, of course, a problem here. Some devices have very poor GPUs, especially smaller devices like cell phones. Uh, you're going to eat through the battery quickly and they don't even have that much processing power. Uh, if you use the client's GPU also, the problem is you have to send the video to the client for it to render into the original video. Okay, so you're basically sending one video for the original footage and the other video, which is an ad stream. It doesn't seem optimal. What you could instead do is to green screen the sidelines or the parts of the video that you want to show users. If I green screen a sideline portion while a football match is being played, I can display anything that I want on top of it. I can just replace that part of the video. This has another problem. It is that people in the stadium or in the stands will not be able to see advertisements. So we'll be losing out on some revenue there. If you're looking in terms of a business perspective, then maybe green screening the ads in the stadiums makes sense for a World Cup match because the number of people in the stadium are very few compared to the number of people who are watching. So this would be a business trade-off. But if you want both, you want advertisements in the stadium and you want advertisements, different advertisements by people who are watching at home, then you need some special technical thing working here. Uh, and the idea here is that the camera stands in every stadium are fixed. They're fixed into position. And so all the video that you're going to watch from this camera is going to be from a particular X, Y, Z axis. So if I'm looking at the pitch of a cricket stadium, while I'm at a particular position, I know which parts of the stadium are the stands and which parts are not. Now, if I render on the parts which are stands in real time, then it will appear as if a different ad has come up. Okay, Just imagine in a football match, you have, let's say, 20 cameras. Each camera has its own position X, Y, Z, and it's going to be covering the match from a particular angle. It's not moving. There's no way that the cameras can move. So for a given camera, there is a particular angle at which the side stand starts, the bottom of the side stand and at which the side stand ends, the top of the side stand. If you can replace this section, this part of the video with an ad, then you'll be able to serve different ads to different users in real time. That's the basic idea here. The biggest challenge to this is players. Players who are moving around in the field will be covering some part of the side stand. Uh, and usually players wear uniform, so uh, there is a particular jersey with a particular color. So you might think that, let me not change the color of this jersey. That could be something that we could be fed into the computer. Uh, and also what ad is going on right now in the background can be noted. So the color of a Coca-Cola ad is probably going to be red and white. 
So you can say, please replace just red and white uh, and keep the person wearing the green jersey. So this would be one way. Uh, in fact, key overlays is something which is used often. The benefit of this is that it's really fast. You have multiple key overlays saying which colors you want to keep and which colors you don't want to keep. Notice that if you have the same color, let's say the person is wearing a red jersey and the same color is appearing behind them also, uh, then there is a problem. Also, skin color is something which you have to think of. Uh, different people have different skin colors. You could not replace the skin color, anything near the skin color. You could also say that none of the ads will be close to the skin color of the person. But uh, at this point, we're getting a little restrictive. It's difficult to manually note down all the different colors that may or may not appear on the screen. And the second thing is that with so many key overlays, you need to be acutely aware of what ad is being shown in the stadium right now and what are the colors going to be like. The other thing which could be done, which is a little more generic and easily extensible, but more computationally intensive is AI. You could identify the players in the space that you're trying to place your ad in and not key them out. So you keep the players and behind them you put an ad. That would be the idea. So when you're replacing the entire space with an ad, you first identify the objects of the players, maybe the football, maybe some logos also. You don't change them. Everything else is changed. Now a company which does this is called Soponor. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right, but the basic idea is that they use machine learning and artificial intelligence to identify objects in real time. And also they use certain tricks which help render the ads as fast as they possibly can. You read more about this in the description. As you might guess, this is a pretty important piece of technology for live streamers or broadcasters uh, who can now charge a premium from other advertisers for placing ads. Contextual ads are more targeted, you usually get a better response from the person who's watching the ad. If you're interested in more real world solutions, do let me know in the comments. Or if you're interested in more technical solutions, you can also let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.